Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is Jeff with Jeff's Jet Boat, and today's video we are gonna discuss water in your clean out plugs. So a lot of people, you know, ask questions that I see on the forum in the groups. Um, you know, hey, I got water in my clean out plugs. Is this good? Is this bad? Is there water is water supposed to be there? And to kind of answer all these questions, water can totally get in this area. It's fine. Um, it's a boat, like your boat can get wet. It's designed to get wet. Um, and, uh, and so to have water on top of these clean out plugs is no big deal. Now I do boat fresh water. I don't live by the ocean. I, I, I don't have experience with boats and salt water. So I don't wanna speak on behalf of all boating everywhere, but getting water in here is no problem. No problem at all. And I can kind of show you a couple reasons why water or possibly water can get in here. Um, the number one reason is you actually have a drain. That's what this hole is right here. This is a drain, so as water comes into this tray, if it was to get filled up, it'll drain out this hole. And the rest gets stuck in here and in here. And that water drains all the way down to right here. And I, I got my I got my handy dandy hose here and I'll show you. So that's where it comes out of. So now how does water come back the other way? Well, if you're ever watching your boat, when your boat is in neutral, you still have thrust coming out. Some of the thrust goes forward, some of it's directed backwards, but you also get water that exits the top here. And it sprays right onto that sucker, right onto that little drain hose right there. And so what can happen is water will come back up in here and it fills your tray up. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you. And that's it. And that's what happens. That is typically how water gets up in there. Um, another way is water just washes up your swim platform. Let's say you come off plane and let's say you tap the boat in reverse real quick to slow the boat down. Water will come over this, over the swim platform, and it gets in there. And again, it is completely fine. What I do after I'm done boating is I reach my hand in there and I pull my clean out. I pull my clean out plugs out. And there you go. Everything's drained out. No big deal. Um, especially if you were a saltwater boater, you probably want to pull these things out every time. Um, and that's pretty much all I can say on this. So if you get water on top of your clean out plugs, don't freak out. It's no big deal. It's quite all right. It's okay to get wet. Nothing's gonna, nothing's going to um, go bad, get soft. There's no wood. And um, just pull your, your clean out plugs every time. Um, I'll put a link in the description. I have a video on what I do at the end of the season to maintain these plugs um, and what you can kind of do to take care of them, prolong them. Uh, again, if you're clean out plugs when you go to put them in and they start to stick and you have to really force them down in there to get them, to get them, to get them locked, um, that's usually time for a rebuild kit. And, uh, and again, that's included in the video. Um, so, so that pretty much covers it. So nothing to worry about. And again, it's okay to ask questions. You know, every, we were all new boaters at one time and uh, hopefully this answers your question on that. So everyone take care. Have a good one. Bye.